Luke, I've He's been got. around and I remember those policies, especially the NERP, negative interest rates, because at one point in time, I think it was close to $20 trillion in bonds were priced at a negative interest rate around the world. And that's hard for people to get their head around, but it's true. And now we might be dipping our toe back in. What's What say you? Yeah, it was uh, 2020 during COVID. We saw Germany and a lot of these other countries go completely negative with, with interest rates. And it's very interesting, the whole concept of uh, NERP or uh, negative interest rates, because uh, literally that kind of means uh, if you actually apply it to the overall country and economy, that you literally have to pay the bank to store your money or the bank will pay you to take out a mortgage or something like that, If assuming everything was negative. I know that's an extreme stretch, but it's a crazy concept because it's just another way to stimulate the economy. Economy. If you can't save money in a bank uh, and you have to pay to save that money, what are you going to do? You're going to go spend that money, right? So that helps to fuel the economy. If you uh, basically get free money to go buy whatever you want and get paid to borrow money, essentially, uh, that allows you to spend more money in the economy. So it's just another thing that way that we talk about this debt Ponzi scheme. And what's very interesting, I'm kind of in the camp that in my lifetime, it's very possible the United States could go down to uh, negative interest rates or, again, obviously, 0% interest rates rates to keep the Ponzi scheme alive. So I don't think that's completely out of the question because, again, this whole world is fueled by debt. And what happens when anything cracks? They just keep on bailing things out. So I don't think that's as crazy as people might seem, I think.